I lost some of my toxic gamers, Sony ponies, and Xbox. How my single chats are doing today? Because the wait certainly feels longer. It feels longer than waiting for GTA 6. It feels like that we ended up getting two GTA games, but we didn't have a single beef, single drama about PlayStation and Xbox. Games. But today, that changes, Yo, my brothers. Go, 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 go. A lot of people are mad right now. A lot of people are going in. We're gonna be having some drama, my brothers. Like Yo, this go, video, go, subscribe go, go. if you're brand new. Get your pitch and forks ready. Let's go ahead and restore the peace because everybody's mad. Like the video, boys. Let's What's see. up, gamers? Drew Keska here, talking today about the latest Xbox controversy because this time things are very different. Uh -huh. This isn't some screw up by Microsoft. Aww. It's not about some bad sales numbers with. I Game. mean, come on, bro. I need some screw ups right now, bro. I need some people being mad. I need some. I need to hear some sweet, sweet cries. In fact, we are about to. We about to hear some sweet, sweet cries. Let's be real, bro. Sega's be making mountains out of molehill the, the retardation levels are off the charts you are about to see the delusional xbox fanboys today previously we talked about the sony ponies today Bruh. we're talking about the xbox my brother in we're talking about the xbox Pass or something like that instead this controversy is arising from some incredibly angry xbox fans who are claiming there is uh -huh. an xbox tax that any game oh. that goes to the xbox series x is automatically hated and i want to explore this concept with a lot Man. of their examples because y'all singers be making things as you go right now bro and the entire reason this xbox text is trending on the internet the entire reason singers are talking about it is because starfield wasn't nominated for the uh, Game Awards. Guys, le guys, let's be real, man. Call me a Sony pony, call me an Xbox, call me whatever you want, toxic gamer, whatever. But Starfield does not deserve to win Game of the Year. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's, it's, it's not a Game of the Year game, okay? It's, it's not. It's a decent game. But it, it's not a game of the year, okay? Uh, like the video if you agree, uh, dislike if you disagree, though, but let me know. Because obviously let me know in the this comments. is incredibly stupid, but I still think the idea of it is honestly pretty funny. <laughs> uh -huh. Let's, Let's take off. a look. Hi, I mean to I'm Dreamcast Guy. Be sure to like. Ah, what? He changed his intro? This video and subscribe if you haven't already. But before we yeah, actually like subscribe, dig boys. into this incredibly goofy topic, let's thank the sponsor of this video. Ah! Next, 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 next. Okay. The Game Awards. These now have the nominations have been announced as of a couple days ago. And Alan it feels Lake. like most of the internet is rather mixed about which of these games deserves to be here. It seems like the biggest... Which game in your opinion deserve to win though? I, I played none of them. <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, I've seen the walkthrough of Alan Wake 2 for a little bit. I need to actually get this game because I've seen the game. I watched the entire walk uh, walkthrough of Spider-Man 2. Did not buy! I saved my money! I saved my money! I saved my money! I saved my money! I saved my money. Uh, I save my money and I did love and I did enjoy Spider-Man 2's gameplay walkthrough a lot. I watched it for free on YouTube because I was on vacay, didn't have my Sony Pony 5 with me. So I was like, okay, might as well watch it on YouTube because I only care for the story. Watch it on YouTube, save my $70, save my money, and I enjoyed my time watching it. And needless to say, the story felt pretty good. Maybe it's because I watched it for, for free, but a lot of people say it's good and some suckers are saying it's bad. I want to know your thoughts, but do you think Spider-Man 2 deserved to win? Baldur's Gate 3, though. I mean, <laughs> a lot of devs were actually hella mad with Baldur's Gate 3. I really hope Baldur's Gate, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 wins, though, to be honest. Because a lot of devs, y'all remember, right? Like when IGN made a video destined to be exact, though he's an Xbox, he has an Xbox YouTube channel on the side, but he works for IGN. So he, he made a video on Baldur's Gate 3, and suckers were talking about it, everybody was talking about it, even I made a video on it. Uh, and a lot of devs, a lot of AAA devs, a lot of the Western world devs, they were big mad with Baldur's Gate 3. So I hope Baldur's Gate 3 wins. Resident Evil 4, heard nothing but good things about it, even seen the gameplay. Uh, but it's a remaster, it's a, it's a remake, right? Like, do we, like, come on, man, how terrible the game's lineup has been this year, where we are seeing remasters pull up to the nominees. I'm not saying Resident Evil, is, or Resident Evil 4 is bad. Not saying that at all because I've seen it, looks amazing, it's good. I'm just saying, remakes, remaster, come on, man. Like, or maybe they should have their own category where there's like remake of the year, remaster of the year. Like the video if you agree, but game of the year, 
I mean, come on, dog. Like, there should be new games. Super Mario, Zelda, heard a lot of good things about it. I mean, needless to say, these games, all of them, I would say minus Resident Evil 4, all of them deserve to be there. Uh, I would even say, like, uh, Starfield deserved to be nominated for at least something else, but not for Game of the Year. It's, it's decent, but it's not Game of the Year, though. But the Xbox fanboys, they are big mad about that. Controversy in general when it comes to these nominations is Mar not not the Xbox fans, not the PlayStation fans, the Sony ponies and the Xbox. They're always uh, trying to make mountains out of molehill, bro. We, we need to restore the peace right now. Real Wonder and Resident Evil 4 Remake. Now, I think both these games definitely deserve to be there. They got incredibly high review scores, and I mean, let's face it, they're incredibly fun games. But people are saying they are less worthy than some other games that came out. But mm. more than that. Xbox fans are freaking out because obviously <laughs> there is yeah. no Starfield and there's no Hi-Fi Rush. Those are the Hi Hi-Fi Rush needs to win some awards though, but not Game of the Year. I mean, come on. I mean, damn though. Hi-Fi Rush is not a Game of the Year contender. Starfield is not a Game of the Year contender. Guys, come on, man. Like, damn, bro. Y'all suckers be delusional as hell. The retardation levels are off the charts. Uh, Starfield is like Dora the Explorer. You yeah. know, it's Go uh, Dora the Explorer, man. Like, come on, bro. The two Xbox games that came out this year, and neither of them even really got any major nominations. I mean, Hi-Fi Rush got Best Soundtrack, and Starfield got Best RPG, but let's face it, it's definitely not going to win that. So it's in a weird spot. <laughs> so a lot of Xbox people Yo, no God. Yo, okay, where are my Xbox homies at? Yo, Xbox homies, I need you on this one immediately, okay? My Xbox homies, I'm with you, okay? I'm with you, okay? You you are strong. You are empowering. Uh, you are empowered. You are fearless, okay? Bruh. You are fearless. I know you're kind of scared right now, but you, you fearless. You need to be fearless. You need a comeback right now. You get your overclock keyboards ready. Uh, so, Starfield apparently got best RPG nominee. Okay, I mean, that's fine, uh, in my opinion, uh, because it's an RPG. It's uh, game of the year. Nah, like, come on, man. Like, it, 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 it's not, right? But uh, best RPG, it's nominated for that. Okay, that's 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 fine. But the homie PlayStation Sony Pony cast guy thinks that it should not win that either. <gasps> Ow, video is only getting started. We are straight up just saying F the Game Awards. Straight up screw it. <laughs> I've even seen people literally listing it out saying every single aspect oh of the Game God. Awards is now 100% worthless. Cyberpunk doesn't deserve to get best ongoing game. Hogwarts Legacy got zero nominations. Starfield did. Yo, okay, that, 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 yeah, bro, like, oh my God. Yo, Hogwarts Legacy deserved to get some nominees, though. Cyberpunk came out in 2020, that I agree with, but I'm assuming that they have it listed or nominated because of the DLC, perhaps, but I do agree with the first two. Starfield got one nominee. Oh, hey, I mean, so what's the big deal? Forza, Forza is good, one nominee. Destiny 2 has best live game. Oh, there we are, boy. Oh. Spider-Man 2 got multiple nominees. F uh, Final Fantasy 16 got multiple nominees. So, De uh, so Spider-Man 2 and uh, Final Fantasy got multiple nominees. Uh, what? God, God of War came out yeah, last year, right? Yeah, that's true. Uh, For Fail, Forspoken came out last year as well. Uh, what's For Fail, Forspoken, <laughs> For Fail uh, came out this year or last year? I could be wrong though. This Be best RPG. Forza got best racing game as a nomination. Uh, Destiny 2 as best live game, which now a lot of Xbox people are just saying that's a Sony Pony project. Spider Man 2 is nominated for a lot of different categories. I'm with the Xbox fanboys uh, on Des with Destiny 2. Listen, man, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to listen to both sides right now. I'm trying. I'm listening. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm learning. I'm growing. I'm learning and growing. We need to restore the peace, my brother. <laughs> as a brown man, as a brown man, I demand. Free online. I demand games to also be free if they have microtransactions. I demand $70 games that are good finish and launch but without microtransactions. Microtransactions free. If you're gonna have microtransactions, if you're gonna charge $70, Get the F out, okay? Either or, okay? Not $70 and microtransactions. As a brown man, I demand finish games at launch. I demand no live service games, or if there are live service games, they need to have good amount of content, good amount of free content, and then you can maybe uh, on the side have some microtransactions, because if the game is free, then I get it, though. You want to have some microtransactions, I get it. But as a brown man, the biggest thing I demand right now is free online for PlayStation and free online for Xbox. So like the video if you agree. We need to come together as one, my brothers. We need to come together as one. Stories, Final Fantasy 16 nominated for final categories. They're mad. They're they're definitely big mad. 
But I think it goes more than that. I think it's that a lot of people are beginning to say that this feels like there is some sort of unseen bias. People are calling it the Xbox tax. Now, mm. even if you want to just break down that idea, it's just a stupid concept. <laughs> think about the fact that all these websites, oh all these God. different <laughs> mega conglomerates, they're very different companies. They're definitely not secretly meeting together to hate the Xbox. I mean, first world problems, my brothers. In Urdu, I would like to say, yaar, khote deo bacho, yaar. Yaar, ye to aise bimar par rahe hain, jaise inki maa bhen ko kisi ne gaali de di. Ye aise uchhal rahe hain, phudak phudak rahe hain, aise phudak rahe hain, aise uchhal uchhal dengi maa rahe hain. Kutte ho saale ho, yaar, kuch aur kar lo zindagi mein. Yaar, iske upar hai, tum aise mujra kar rahe ho. Ladies and gentlemen, like, quite frankly, bro, I don't like where gaming is going, man. Sega's really be bipolar right now. Sega's really, really making mountains out of molehill. Sega's really making things up as they go, Xbox takes, Xbox takes. But I do, here's the thing, okay? Let me present you with a conspiracy though. I'm not sure what year it was. Was it last year or two years ago? I think it was two years ago. But two years ago, it was not the Game Awards. It was the last of us two awards. <gasps> Yay! Y'all remember when last of us two was winning all the awards? Even the Sony ponies at that point. Not talking about the PlayStation fans. Not talking about the Xbox fans and the Xbox either. The Sony ponies, the PlayStation fanboys. Even they were like, bro, like, like, come on, dog. Last of us two, you winning all every single award. Like, get your ass out of here, right? It was the last was two awards. Make no mistake, Abby the Brock Lesnar had like a bigger D, so uh, that was kind of like their excuse. I feel like it had, she had a bigger D, bigger Johnny, so maybe that's why she won all the awards. Maybe that's why last was two won the awards. I am with you, Xbox. I am with you, my brothers. Come here, boo boo. Let me give you some kisses, boo boo. Let me give you some kisses, baba. I do agree that there is something, some funny happening behind the scenes, though. I get it though. Let me let me feel more rumors here. Let me feel more uh, conspiracy. But nah, bro. Like two years ago, bro, that shit was AIDS, bro. That was AIDS, bro. Maybe hypothetically, it's just that Xbox isn't putting out as good of games. This is not me ah! blasting it. I'm not saying Xbox sucks, but if you compare the grand scale of something like Final Fantasy 16, which is big and focused and cool and has crazy side quests and beautiful vistas and obviously some of the best acting of the year, that's why it's nominated for best acting of the year, and you compare right. something like that to Starfield, it's just going to be a little bit of a missed, balanced comparison. Like, Starfield is not trash. It's not a Yo, what? Oh shit! Oh, you what me? What did he say? Run that back. Run that back, though. Run that back. Missed balanced comparison. Like, Starfield is not. <laughs> no way. No way he called it Starfield. You Xbox fanboys, I am with you right now. Bro, I am with you right now. Xbox, Xbox, where y'all at? I am with you right now, bro. I need y'all with your comebacks right now. I need y'all with your pitch and forks. Get your pitch and forks ready, boys. Get, get your. And Xbox fans, PlayStation fans, get your popcorn ready, man. Fasten your seed belts, cause uh, we going in right now. We going in though. Trash. It's not a dumpster fire, but it's forgettable. It's just a totally average seven out of ten game. Now I know that some people are gonna say that. Bruh, seven out of ten is considered to be really good though. I don't know what's happening to ga gamers right now. What's happening to gaming? Where suckers believe that seven out of ten is bad. Bro, like seven out of ten means it's a good game though. 5 out of 10 means it's average. 5 out of 10 means that the game is neither bad, neither good. It's average. That's why it is right in the middle. <laughs> Nowadays, 7 out of 10 is considered bad, but I do agree that Starfield is, uh, I mean, it's subjectively, you can say it's good. Subjectively, you can give it game of the year. Uh, subjectively, you can hate it too. Objectively speaking, though, I would give it like 6 or 5.5 out of 10, which is not a bad rating. It just means that the game is all right. The game is average, above average. Anything above 5 is good. So I would give it 6 out of 10. It's not 7 out of 10, like damn, though. That means that you cannot give any improvements. The game cannot have any improvements. In this day and age, Sega's would be like, the game is 10 out of 10 but i hate that thing i hate this thing i hate that thing Bruh. like dame you gave it 10 out of 10 you're telling the game is a masterpiece you're saying the game cannot be any better though 
Spider-Man 2, I would give it like 7 out of 10 or 7.5 out of 10 based on what I've seen, the story, and I did not play it. Maybe if I play, I'll give it 8, maybe I'll give it 6. It depends, right? But, but like, come on, man. The reason I'm bringing Spider-Man 2 is because I know Xbox fanboys, they would be big mad uh, if I say 5.5 or 6 out of 10 for Starfield. I mean, listen, it's not the worst game, but it's not the game of the year. Let's let's stop. Let's ask for better games, bro. It's the best game they've ever played. I still see a lot of people saying it's one of their favorite games, even if it doesn't get nominated. It's not perfect, but it does what it does well. It's doing it the best it can. Some of the best and most memorable quest lines of the year were in this game. Now, especially especially this Okami games I think his takes are incredibly based but especially this the one where you go to old NASA that's the best part of the entirety of the game if all of Starfield was as good as this mission yeah I do think it'd get this game of the year nomination but I think the problem is that people are adding this extra layer of ill intent anytime no. Any Xbox game gets bad review scores, it's automatically the evil games media. And then anytime it does get good review scores, it's deserved. Yeah, there's true, this ex true. I mean listen, just by watching this gameplay, come on now, bro. Like you can love the game, but but it's not like game of the year though. And the fact that it's not nominated for game of the year, you cannot say Xbox tax, bro. Like some games are just not deserved to be game of the year. Simple as that. Simple as that. It's nominated for best RPG. Okay, that's fair though. That's fair. That's fair. Extra layer of bias from the fan base as to what they expect games journalists to say. And I'm not being rude, but the main reason you're not seeing Xbox games get nominated yeah. isn't that the judges hate Xbox or that ah! Jeff Keighley personally wants it to fail. It's just the fact that honestly, Wrong. people have moved on. I mean, nobody's Damn. even playing. Starfield. I mean, the Yo. numbers are so incredibly low. Now, this is a little bit weird. This is on. Okay, that the Red Dragon is like a Sony Pony account, so I don't know if I want to believe it or not. Starfield player account has already fallen below Skyrim, and yo, if that's true, then oh, shit. oh, oh my shit. god, that is crazy. Now, I have to agree, and uh, that I have not seen much spark about Starfield after launch. It was like, hey, it was solid for a week. Same likewise for Spider-Man 2, right? Because these are single player games. I would say Spider-Man is more of that game where you're gonna play the story once, maybe do side quests, but not everybody's gonna do side quests. You're just gonna play the game once and you're gonna forget about it. And maybe years later, you're gonna go for the second playthrough. Bruh. That's Spider-Man 2. That's how that game was made. It's an experience for you to enjoy. It's a it's a story game that, that is for you to enjoy once, twice, and that's it. Nothing wrong with it. It's not the best thing in the world. Not the worst thing in the world. That's how that game is designed for, right? Just like how the original Spider-Man 2018 was designed for. Sega's played it once, Sega's left it, forgot about it, went back, played it years later, and, and the reason they replayed it is because the story was memorable and that stuck with them, whereas Starfield is considered to be that game which is not like narrative heavy, but it's like gameplay heavy. Different game, you cannot compare with Spider-Man 2 because it's a different genre altogether. Sega's game man over just that stuff alone, right? You cannot compare the two. Starfield is more gameplay heavy, so this game should be having more players. Uh, knowing that it's sold so far, I I, I know the, the comparison is not apples to apples where uh, because Spider-Man 2 came out on a different day, Starfield came out on a different day, so different time, uh, obviously we, we gotta do like in how many days, for example, how many copies Starfield sold in 30 days versus how many copies Spider-Man 2 sold in 30 days. I would like to believe Starfield is gonna sell more. Um, it sold more, uh, 10 million they were saying. Spider-Man, I heard 2 million, 5 million afterwards. But but again, Spider-Man 2 is gonna be PlayStation 5 only. Starfield is like Xbox and PC, right? Uh, and there has been more time passed for Starfield. But but the, the fact that Starfield player count, if this is true though, you gotta understand this is us this is coming from Sony Pony account. If this is really true, then that is wild because Starfield is more gameplay heavy. Sega's gotta be on the game a lot more. I, at least I expect people to be on the game more than Spider-Man 2 personally, but... Steam, obviously uh, a lot of people are playing it on the Xbox console or they're playing it on the Game Pass app for PC, so... Uh, and, and yeah, it's on Game Pass as well. Though. Still, a decent amount of people I'm sure are playing Starfield. It's just that more people are playing Skyrim. <laughs> Damn. It's just that a lot of people have moved crazy. on. It was a surprisingly empty experience. Even major people are talking about the fact that Starfield came out and then they just bounced off it. It didn't grab me like I expected. But 
going back to the original concept of the Xbox tax, people are making this comparison saying that when Xbox does bad, everybody jumps on it. Whenever there's a game review and it comes out on multiple consoles, the Xbox version gets dragged the hardest. The idea- Ladies and gentlemen, this is gonna keep happening. Finally, we had another beef today. We absolutely love it. But recently, Phil Spencer emails got leaked though. Oh shit! Oh, His shit. emails got leaked and he's trying to do this to Call of Duty. Is it actually a good thing? Is it a bad thing? You let me know. Click on this video on the screen and I will see you right there.